In this video, we're going to talk about Earth's history through geologic time. The learning competency here is to describe the history of the Earth through geologic time. The specific learning targets are appreciate the immensity of geologic time and recognize that the Earth has a very long history. Next, identify the timing and duration of major events in the Earth's history. And lastly, recognize how short human history is in relation to the history of the Earth. Well, this figure is Earth's history projected on a 24-hour day. The age of the Earth is around 4.6 billion years. The first inhabitants of the Earth are the prokaryotes about 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago. Prokaryotes are single-celled organisms without nuclei. And eukaryotes are characterized by cells with nuclei. And the oldest evidence of eukaryotes is from 2.7 billion years ago. If you notice, the first two-thirds of the Earth's history, planet was inhabited by only single-celled organisms. Humans appeared during the last few seconds of the last minute of the 24-hour clock. Wow, what a moment. I will never forget. In fact, modern humans just emerged during the last 200 years. What is surprising is that we are relatively new to the Earth, and yet our impact to the Earth system has already been profound. Right, 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 yes, yes. We have climate change, flooding, and of course not just all the negatives, but we have the development of science. So now let's talk about the geologic time scale. Early life forms most likely adapted to anoxic conditions, meaning free of oxygen. So anoxic is a description of the environment without oxygen. Mostly, microbes live here, and oxygen is actually toxic to most of them. Hydrothermal vents is an example of an anoxic environment. We have studied this in one of the previous videos. That is why the emergence of photosynthesis is important with regards to the evolution of the Earth's atmosphere. This is one example of the interaction of the systems. Okay, so let's start with the Precambrian period. This is also called as the Cryptozoic Era. It ran from 4.6 GA to 540 MA. Huh? GA means Giga Annum, which is equivalent to 1 billion years. Okay, MA means Mega Annum which is equivalent to 1 million years. Okay, so the Precambrian era represents 80% of Earth's history. This is also known as the eon of hidden life due to obscure fossil records. There's very little record of life during the Precambrian era due to the following reasons. One, there is no much life during this period. Two, only simple life forms that do not have preservable hard parts may have existed. And lastly, the rocks containing the fossils would have already been obliterated over time. Okay, so meaning they're gone. Under this era, we have the Hadean Aeon. It is from 4.6 Giga Annum to 3.8 Giga Annum. It is from the root word Hades, who is the Greek god of the underworld. This is considered as a chaotic time because of several meteorite bombardment. Okay, Here, there is atmosphere reduction. The atmosphere is mainly composed of methane, ammonia, carbon dioxide. Another important thing that happened here is the start of a hydrologic cycle and the formation of world oceans. Even though the environment is hostile, Life still emerged. Okay. Next, we have the Archean Eon. It is from 3.8 Giga Annum to 2.5 Giga Annum. Here, an aerobic respiration is evident, meaning it is cellular respiration without the use of oxygen. Okay. It's different from anoxic. In this eon, there is no ozone. Okay. So remember, the ozone layer protects life on the surface of the Earth from harmful UV rays. This may have allowed life to emerge from the oceans. Now, photosynthetic prokaryotes, or the blue-green algae, emerged and started releasing oxygen 
to the atmosphere. Life forms are still limited to single-celled organisms without nuclei until 2.7 giga annum. Because in 2.7 giga annum, eukaryotes emerged. Next, we have the Proterozoic Eon. It is from 3.8 giga annum to 2.5 giga annum. So here, oxygen level reaches 3% of the atmosphere. There is rise of multicellular organisms represented by the Vendian fauna. Here, ozone layer started to form. Now let's go to the Phanerozoic Eon. It is from 540 MA to the present. <laughs> Very, very intense. This is called as the visible life or the eon of visible life. Here, there is diversification of life. So many life forms are represented in fossil records, meaning those life forms have preservable hard parts. Under this eon, we have the Paleozoic eon. So it's from 540 MA. 245 MA. This is also called as the age of ancient life. Here, rapid diversification of life is represented by the Cambrian fauna. In this eon, there is dominance of marine invertebrates. In the same eon, 480 mega annum, plants colonize land. Okay. Then at 450 MA, animals start to colonize the land. Oxygen level in the atmosphere approaches present day concentration. So meaning, the oxygen in this eon is almost the same as the oxygen in the present day. Then massive extinction happened at the end. This is also called as the Great Permian Extinction. Okay, so next we have the Mesozoic Era. This is called as the Age of Reptiles. So there is dominance of reptiles and dinosaurs. Just to make a clarification, the term dinosaurs is used for land reptiles that lived from 230 to 65 MA. This term is not used for flying and marine reptiles that lived during the same period. Okay, So again, it's only for land organisms or reptiles. Here, 200 MA, the Pangaea starts to break apart. You can also see here the early mammals at 220 mega annum. Also the first birds at 150 MA, first flowering plants at 130 MA, and this, this era ended with the Cretaceous extinction at 65 MA. So what happened here is that an asteroid hit the Earth in the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico forming what is today called as the Chicxulub Impact Crater. So this event marks the end of the Cretaceous period. Now, let's go to the Cenozoic Era. It's from 65 MA to the present. This is called the Age of Mammals. So there is radiation of modern birds. And early primates are present at 60 MA. So like this. In this area, the continents are near the present day positions means that the position of the continents now is almost the same as of the position last 40 mega annum. Also, the first hominids appeared at 5.2. This organism happened. Hominid is the group consisting of all modern and extinct great apes, that is, modern humans, chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans, plus their immediate ancestors. At 0.2 mega annum, modern humans occurred and at 2 mega annum global ice ages begin so we have only covered the important events that happened in the geologic time so as i have said in the previous video it's like a diary we only discuss the important ones <laughs>